What's up everybody? This is your number one blockchain enthusiast, Light Crypto here, and today we are going to be diving into Sui's ecosystem, which was overwhelmingly voted on the last YouTube community poll. So a lot of people were interested to hear what exactly could be the next big airdrops happening on Sui. And Sui has been doing very, very well recently when we are looking at its market cap. It's currently sitting at number 17. And my personal belief is that it's only a matter of time until it will make it to top 10. And the real reason for that is it has great UX, it has cheap transactions, and it is very fast at the same time. So it's basically better than all the EVM chains. It has been able to basically resist congestion on a feasible level compared to Solana's and other chains out there. So Sui has been a pretty big winner in my opinion. The same applies to Aptos, which is using pretty similar technology out there. So I think both of them are going to be make it into the top 10. I think they're definitely better technology and have a lot more momentum going on for them compared to Cardano or AVAX, for example. So in case you don't have them in your portfolio, I still think there's a good time to buy into them. But uh, Aptos might have, by the way, a second airdrop. A lot of people are waiting for it, which could cause sell pressure. So you might want to enter then when the sell pressure happens. But hey, that's my two cents. Now let's get into this speculative list here on on Sui. So first of all, today we got the Deep Book airdrop, and that was seven hundred dollars, which is a considerable amount given for the effort that we had to do because I only had about three hundred Sui staked out, and I was eligible to get a pretty nice chunk. A couple of other friends basically got thousand dollars, and they didn't even interact. Neither did I with the Deep Book DAP. So there might be more staking airdrops happening in the future on Sui. So that is why we need to have something staked out natively as also in liquid form. And today I went through all of these delegators and I tried to find out which could be potential uh, entries here. And basically I was able to find six potential nodes here. So obviously all of them have different commissions, which is something you have to pay attention to. The higher the percentage means more that they are going to be taking from your staking rewards. The number one we have here is called Aftermath, which is a DeFi protocol. They do not have their own token yet, and they got some partnerships going on. They have their own liquid SUI token, so holding that might get you eligible also if you are going to be delegating your SUI to them. The beautiful part about SUI is, is that it only has a 24-hour unstaking period so you're not very locked in like you are with solana or you're with the cosmos ecosystem and that's a very beautiful thing about sui and when i learned that i decided that i'm gonna be staking quite a lot more of my sui after knowing that obviously a lot of it's also in liquid form but that's another one and then we have sui lend which we are going to be talking about a bit later on they are also another potential candidate here on this list for their own airdrop then we have Ahoy, which could be, they have a lottery system, so you basically delegate to them and you have a chance to basically win a portion of money by being their delegator. And then we have Kriya, and we're going to be talking about Kriya later on. So that's basically the major ones there. A couple of other potential ones, which we are talking about next portion of this video, which are the wallets. And two different wallets have their delegators. One is Surf. And one is Sweat Wallet. So those two have their own validators here on the list. And I'm pretty sure that, yes, Ethos doesn't have one. So those those are kind of the one I'm going to like write these down below. You can decide which ones you're going to be obviously putting into. Obviously, like Sweat, for example, has 10% commission, which is a lot higher than some of the others. So there are obviously downsides on that speculation in terms of the APY rewards. Now, let's talk about the wallets. In the January's video, so in case you have been a subscriber a longer time for the channel, you'll remember that we talked about the Martian wallet. They had an NFT which you could basically mint out. I don't actually remember if that NFT is still mintable, but in, Mar in case Martian is going to be doing some type of a drop down the line, they might have something for SUI users and for Aptos users. So this is the only wallet that supports both of these tokens. As I said earlier in the video, the both technologies or the both tokens are using the same technology. 
And it's a pretty good wallet. It's kind of bugging out on my Opera browser, but it works fine on my Chrome, or should I say Brave. And, you know, there are some features inside the actual application which are region blocked. So you might be fucked in certain regions and that doesn't allow you to get into like the swapping features and things like that. So there is an inbuilt swap and that's probably going to be part of the criteria. But in case your IP blocked, maybe with a VPN, you can interact with it. So uh, use a VPN, guys. And yeah, so that's, that's for Martian. So Martian is probably one of the more likely ones of these wallets to basically do something, given out that they have done these commemorative NFTs and shit. Then we have Sweet, and it's pronounced Sweet. Okay, Sweet. And this is another wallet. I'm using the Sui's own wallet. I think they are pretty much the same in terms of their quality. I think all of them are pretty good compared to what I've tried. So. Martian is a bit more clunkier from the perspective that it has different chains and I don't like swapping on the testnet and stuff like that. So if you're doing a lot of that stuff, okay, there is, okay, this is something different. This, this is not related to them. So Suet is another one that could be potentially airdropping in the future. And I don't know what would be the criteria. I just have to basically keep in tabs what they're basically doing. And if there's an inbuilt swap inside it, the wallet, that's going to be um, not a factor. Then we have Surf, and Surf is another one that we said that has a validator, so that's going to be part of the criteria if they're going to be doing their own token. Another very nice wallet, I have it on my other browser, so there's another one that I would choose an alternative besides the Sui official wallet, which the Sui official wallet is likely not going to have their own airdrop, it's very unlikely. So in that sense, it's not the best wallet, but in terms of interface and everything like here, here, here's what it looks like. And it's even informing you about airdrops and this NS airdrop, which is the Sui name service was on the January's video, by the way. So I did mention it and hopefully people sign up their own domains and they're going to be now eligible for an airdrop. And I only have 500 Sui currently staked, just so you know. So I'm going to be staking a lot more, maybe 99% of this one, unless I need it for something else. So. This is another good wallet, which could have an airdrop. Then lastly, we have Ethos wallets, another pretty good one. Not as pleasing on the eyes. They have this Ethos collective thing, which costs 0.20 Sui, which could be part of a criteria. So if they are going to be doing their own token, so that's, that's for Ethos. So that's pretty basically for the wallets. So all of them are on the speculative side. They are not the number one priority you should have, but you're going to be probably using any wallet anyhow. So some wallet anyhow. So that's going to be a big thing. Moving on. So we've got a lot of things to cover here, guys. So maybe I add timestamps. So next up, we have Sui Play. We talked about this on the channel before on multiple different videos. I ordered already mine. It's priced at $600. This is basically Steam Deck with blockchain capabilities. So I'm assuming there's going to be blockchain games on it. And there is going to be a lot of play to earn airdrops. And I'm also assuming that there's going to be airdrops just given out because you bought the Sui Play, just like we saw with the Solana things. I'm seeing a lot more of this hardware airdrop stuff happening with all of these things we have covered. And they are, and this is, by the way, the lower pricing right now. So, and it's pretty much on the same specs as the normal Steam Deck. So more or less the same things and maybe not have as, bit, as good screen, but the batteries and all the other things look pretty much the same. So I'm pretty excited about this product and I really, really want to review it at some point on the channel. So a very bullish thing and it's probably going to be accumulating quite a many airdrops if it goes into that trend. Then we have a lending protocol. And in case you're like a wrong viewer of this channel, you know that I have said that lending protocols generally are not big airdrops because they're usually for like people who put like 1 million in liquidity and they might get something. So they do have a point system going on. I withdrew my SUI out from it because there are other better SUI options right now on the table, which in my opinion, offer a bit of a better position, but the APRs given here are actually pretty good for Sui. So I guess you could throw something in and get some points for the project, but obviously there are some people who are making 810,000 points uh, per day. I have thousand points accumulated since January or something. So that should tell you about kind of like the gap of like how much people are going to be doing. 
Moving on, we have the Meme Coin Birds, which is a Telegram map. We have featured it many times on the channel, and I'm going to feature it again because they're one of the bigger or starting to become more bigger Telegram apps. And because of that, they might become de facto Meme Coin on Sui because of the sheer participants and the holders. So this like tree and it has an inbuilt wallet inside it as well. So that's 6 billion users on it. So it's going to be huge, but it's, it's a very easy app in my opinion to use. So just type into it. And it's the only free option you have on this list. Then we have two different liquid Sui tokens. One is called Volo and Volo and the other one's Heydal. We did pro cover this on the initial Sui ecosystem January video. Volo and Heydal are pretty much the same. You stake them and then you're going to be getting the Volo Sui. And this Volo Sui can be put into a lot of different DeFi protocols here like Navi and Scallop. Navi is also in our list, which I'll talk about in a second. That would be my choice on the list alongside with Typus because Typus and Navi don't have their tokens yet. Scallop had their first token released and you need to have like a minimum of $150 there on their ecosystem to be eligible for second airdrop, which is not going to be big. So forget Scallop, the, the airdrop has happened. So that's for Volo and obviously liquid staking is a pretty good thing to do, but obviously remains to be seen once the other tokens happen. Then we have Hadel, which is the other liquid staking token. They have a lot more DeFi options here for different pairs and they have vault options. And there's just like a lot more things to do with the Hadel token as of right now. So Hasui can be used on many different things. And I have, I, by the way, I own both. That's how I, that's how I roll with these liquid based tokens. So that, that's what I'm trying to do generally, just kind of like keep them Keep it liquid, have a lot of exposure to that, so I'll be getting those airdrops. Moving on, we have Typus. And by the way, back in January, I put like four, no, 300 Sui. And when I like three days ago came back, I realized, oh, one of the options here, like get me, got me like 400 Sui. So I basically doubled my money in eight months in the Sui sum. Obviously the value of Sui has gone up since January. And there are a lot of these options a daily all weather and the APRs are pretty crazy on some of these. Holy Sui Bull, 5 to 179%. You got USDC assets. You can also put the uh, Volo Sui or Hasui also here. So a lot of options which can potentially make a lot of good money. You need to read about more about the options. And now recently they also have started out the airdrop points. I didn't get any points. You have to actually sign up to get those allocations, which kind of sucks. So everything that I deposited earlier on those options, which stayed for eight months, I didn't get any points from that whatsoever, which is kind of annoying, but I think I'm going to be adding more positions now here again, because last time I had just a very, very good run and I made so much money already in Sui, so why not do more and grind some points at the same time? Then we have Kriya, which is basically the biggest DEX right now. They have also an airdrop tab here, which has no, there's no enlightenment without patience. So this is coming out soon. And I'm sure that there's going to be some early bird bonuses and it's pretty straightforward. Provide assets. You can put Visui with Sui here, other types of different pairs. Apparently Deep is here now listed and you're going to get Deep rewards if you want to. And these are also going to be getting you Visui rewards and make trades of certain magnitude. And that's going to be also getting you probably points and eligibility for the drop. And then they also have a strategies tab, which has like lending and LP, some interesting stuff. So I haven't looked into these three here, but those are also options. Then we have Navi, which is another lending protocol. I have a lot more here than I do at Sweetland. And they also give out pretty good APRs. And these are APRs on liquid tokens. So I'm able to give out liquid tokens here and then I'm going to be getting a pretty good APR on them, on the liquid token. So I'm actually very much liking that process. And because the liquid tokens are more valuable than normal tokens. And there are also a couple of, okay, this is actually a Volo site. So there are a couple of different things you can do in here. There's an earn tab and strategy things, which interesting, pretty good APYs over here. So 
look into those options as well if you're interested. Once again, it's a lending protocol, so it's not going to be this massive airdrop. It's just something like you want more APY on your SUI and you don't want to natively stake it for whatever reason. Um, you might want to have exposure into Navi and Suiland, but I wouldn't like go all into these unless you're a millionaire already. Then we have two different aggregator websites. We have Hop, not to be confused with Hop protocol on the EVM chains. This is just a simple aggregator where you can trade different tokens over here, which I recommend doing. So let me just do do a transaction here. So we talked about earlier about the AF SUI uh, liquid token. I'm going to get some exposure to that because look at how fast SUI is. Insanely fast. Finalized in 1.24 seconds. I love that. And then there's another aggregator called 7K. Not as great interface, but who knows? It might amount to something, but I'm not holding my breath on this one. Then we have another vault lending protocol thing called Kai Finance. Not a lot of documentation over here. It says new vaults coming soon, but hey, it's a lending protocol. Bit probably like lower priority on this list. And then last we have Cubic. We did feature this on some other thing because they had some shit going on in EVM as well. But here are a couple of gaming related quests that you can do currently on their platform. I'm not holding my breath that this will be worth anything, but there is an airdrop tab, but coming soon. So at least there's coming something soon. But that basically wraps up my video for the SUI ecosystem. There are a lot of things going on. And I think when the SUI gaming handheld releases, we are going to be seeing a lot more games launching on SUI just because it's able to consist contain the level of traffic that a game needs and because of that we are probably going to be seeing a lot more play to earn airdrops in the future but right now we've got a lot of options in terms of you know option calls and liquid staking and then we have those wallets and native staking which might give you some you know rando airdrops down the line so i think sui is kind of starting to gear up in the distinct La lastly there's not really that many good nft platform options right now the blue move or move blue was like the biggest one but they already released a token without an airdrop so they kind of suck on that sense so the nft ecosystem is still kind of shit on so in my opinion thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos and probably going to be doing another poll soon so stay tuned for that as well